Hello, I'm Horned Reaper. Once watching any speedrun on my channel or another channel, you may be asked a question. What the hell is this? Left side. For what and how it's working? So sit steady and we'll take care of all of this right now. Well, let's win the program live split. This program firstly intended to count the time while speedrunning, but you can use this program as a stopwatch as well. You can find last version of this program on this site. This program is free, not require installing and very light for system resources. You can download it by clicking this. The program has a lot of settings and options, but I'm not going to show all of this. Otherwise, this video will take 2 hours. I will explain really useful options only. Downloaded program is an archive, and you will need any unpacker like WinRAR or WinZip. Now go into the folder of program and find main executable file with proper icon. After double clicking, we'll see small black window. Something you didn't expect, I guess. But this view is initial for this program. And now we'll work with settings. By the way, actually, I didn't know some of these settings before making this video. We can change width and height as in other windows. Now let's go to main settings. Right click on program window and fill it to last screen. Here we can set hotkeys, profiles and other global settings. First field is in charge of start of timer or split switching. Make left click if you want to change or set your hotkey, including mouse buttons. Second field, reset of timer. Here is numpad free button as default. I not recommend to change it to more convenient key because it would be sad if you randomly press it while speedrun. Third field means going back to previous split without time stopping. Fourth field is going to next split. Fifth field corresponds to pause actuating if you for any reason want to stop timer while speedrun. Next two fields relates to switching kinds of comparison of time and toggle global hotkeys. I'll not explain these options, because I don't see its usefulness. But now really useful options. Global hotkeys tick implies that the program will listen, pressing of hotkeys regardless of what program or window is active. Next tick double tap prevention. It really can help if you are making nervous speedrun and randomly press switching key twice. Right field set and delay that program using to count double pressing as double. Tick below with supporting buttons of gamepad if you have it. Also, you can set profiles in this field. For example, if there are another speedrunners on your computer and everyone has his own settings. Click new button to create the profile and set the name. So you can choose your profile in the field above. And this tick is really important. Implies warnings if you set best time for segment and try to reset time. But in case of huge amount of attempts, this option can be really annoying. So I used to uncheck this checkbox while speedrunning stalker. The rest of options is hardly to be useful. So go next. Layout settings. You can find it by right click on program window. Initial window has only one section, timer, but we need to add more. Click on the plus icon to do it. Here we can see wide selection of different sections. Let's add detailed timer, for example, which has two scales of time. Now add the main section everyone speedrunner has. Splits. Now we can see our window became much bigger. We have made ready our window for splits, that is strings with location names and timings on opposite side. Also you can use splits for another game conditions, mission completing degree and other you want. Another section, subsplits, has some features and I'll show it later on example of splits. Next group of sections is information. You can add strings showing current timing method, for example, or time difference. Different are current time and your best time. Information about previous segment, speedrun time prediction, best time sum. 
some text with whatever you want. And most ordinary, title, last two strings, total time of all attempts, and world record info. Anyway, you can see a hint if you aim any option. Rest is little useful, except perhaps uh, separator. This one add separate line between sections. This line and any other section can be moved by mouse or arrows left side, and will immediately see result on the window. I guess the title is supposed to be at the top. Double clicking on any section calls the layout setting window. Each section has a color setting. Choose any color you want. Two colors means gradient. We can choose gradient direction in the right field. And choose color by clicking on squares. First up layout contains common settings relating with all sections. For example, the ground color of whole window. Further, we can edit all fonts and colors appearing in window program while speedrun. Now go to the title tab. Here we can change font or color of text. The tick of the right means independence from main layout settings. Now we can choose information shown in title. That is ordinary name of game, name of category and number of attempts. Now go to timer. Here we have to choose method of time counting. Most preferable for stalker is game time. In case of other games, you can use real time. Also we can edit height of section. Decimals height can be adjusted by this slider. If you don't need decimals, you can remove it at all or choose tenth or hundredth. Also you can change color of font if you want. Now detail a timer. The difference is one more timer corresponds to segment time. Here you can see same settings. So the most important section splits. Firstly, you have to choose amount of strings you want to see on screen. The program can have much more splits. And we will see current splits in speedrun. This T corresponds to actuating separate lines between splits. Second tick corresponds to showing last split if number of splits more than strings on screen. And this one turns on separate line before last split. Further, setting of height and color. This tick can be required if some splits has two long names. Most important settings are at the end. Here we can choose accuracy. This section corresponds to showing time difference between some reference time and current in speedrun. Column with pluses and minuses. In this case, column type must be delta or segment delta. Compare with, I always recommend, personal best. Method of comparison may be real time, but if you stock a speedrunner or another game which have special script for removing of load time, you can use game time. Second column is split time. We can choose different options in column time field. For example, split time means time since start of game. Or segment time, which I used to use. It's a time spent on this location only. Next options are same. Compare with personal best and game time method in case of stalker. If we don't need these columns, we can remove it or add another by buttons remove column or add column. While setting color, pay attention with second strip. Chosen color is the first strip, but second is opacity of the main color of layout. Now go to editing directly splits. In order to call it, you should make right click Edit Splits. This window will appear next. Firstly, we have to choose the name of game. 
And what the name of this game? Ah, Stalker. By the way, don't forget the dots. Choosing, for example, Shadow of Chernobyl, any person category. Attempts count zero. And we can see new info in title. After these actions, the script have appeared, which is responsible for removing of time of loadings. That is transformation real time into game time. Minus all time spent for location loadings. Let's activate it. You don't have to change anything in settings of script. Make sure the ticks must be same. And this tick is responsible for auto switch and splits while location transition. Next objective is downloading splits in order for not spending time to manually fill splits. By the way, any change in layout settings or split settings you must confirm by OK buttons. Otherwise, changes will not save in spite of real time changes in window. Right click, open splits. Choose spin run com site, for example. Next, type a game name through dots, find some sample and click download. Agree and save the file. We can see splits now. Splits appeared, but, but why we see extra screen? You can get rid in layout settings. Also, you can change alternation of colors. Now go back to split settings. Now we see the table here. Here is split name. Next the time since start of game. Next the reference time of segment. And the best time of segment. All of these units can be edited by double clicking on proper unit. But don't forget about tabs. We have separate table for real time and game time. It's enough to fill only reference time for speedrun start. The rest timings will be filled by program itself. While filling, don't forget the format. Type minutes and seconds between colon. And decimal are separated by only dot. Also you can remove time by delete key. Third tab. Additional info. You can choose region, platform, difficulty and version of game. Now let's talk about program files. Program saves by two types of files, LSS and LSL, which means saving split settings and layout settings respectively. In order to save program, you should right-click and choose Save Layout as. Type a file name or indicate existing file. So we have created layout file. Now let's save splits. Save splits as. So the program saves into two files. And if you want to open this program in the shape used last time, you should open one of these files. Next exit the program and open second one. Order of opening is not important. Now recall the folder of this program. Main folder have another one executable file. This file enters the data into your register and makes associations of these files in your system. Well, I created several files and deleted all information of LSS files in my register for visibility. These white files looks like in your case after first using the program. But if you try to open it, Although we can try it by CSGO, for example, but it can hardly work. After executing this file, all live split files becomes easy to open and no additional actions needed. Now, for example, open the couple of files corresponding any percent category or true percent, which I regularly use. Perhaps you ask, what the hell, why he used pink program? Maybe he wears pink underpants too? Actually, all for program convenience. I used to delete background from the window and put in the OBS program with opacity option. 
you can use it if you go to the filters and choose chroma key and thermal purple. Why purple? Life Speed has enough amount of colors. All colors are different, and in order for not deleting some color by mistake, we should use some far different color. For example, open the file of 2% category, but layout from the any percent. That means we didn't open second file. Now all right. Now tell about color walking and split switching in Stalker. If you actuated strip, splits are switching automatically when the window of transition appears. We set comparing with personal best. While counting time, delta column will have different colors. If we reach a time faster than reference time, we'll see green color, even if our advantage is decimals. If you ran so good that you beat on your personal best, you will see orange color. And in our case, we'll see best of best time on garbage. If time is slower, we'll see red color. Resume of game time counting occurs approximately at the middle of synchronizing step of loading. Now let's consider subsplits. You can add it through list subsplits. Speedrunners usually use subsplits if they want to separate splits and make separate strings for it. For example, if we have several objectives on one location and we want to create separate string for each of them. After adding subsplits, we can remove splits section and move subsplits instead it. Make the same settings as in splits. Now we have to go into edit splits. And let's assume that cordon and garbage became a part of bar. In this case, you should add dash character in front of cordon and garbage names. Now let's see the difference on the window. And Amy stores and Red Forest suddenly became a part of prepared. Notice that sublocations disappears. And now while speedrun needed sub splits will open when we achieve primary location. and text or strings we can remove in layout settings. So, I guess I finished my guide of life split. I hope I answered all your questions, but if you have any more, write in comments, please. Thanks for watching and goodbye.